Hi guys, back again for another video, another computer build. Uh, this one is in the uh, Apivia case that you see right here. I uh, wanted to talk about it a little bit. Uh, it used to be my daughter's case. Um, if you look on the uh, builds.gg uh, gallery of mine, you'll see the original black color that this used to be. Uh, I changed my daughter's to a uh, Cooler Master NR400 and so this case was left over from that after we gutted it out and didn't really know what to do with it you know i didn't want to toss it out it's still a perfectly good case so uh i decided to see what i had on the shelf there for paint and i was just kind of in a painting mood and uh painted it white right here and then purple on the uh, grill and purple on the inside and i put some purple cable mod stuff on there the board that's in there is uh an old one that i had up on the shelf there it's an fm2 uh a10 7860 uh it's got 16 gigs of ram in it 480 gig hard drive uh the burner i painted white as well uh i kind of wanted to get a little white theme going now if you're wondering why i painted this damn thing purple of all colors well I did one a while back for my mom and she wanted a purple interior and uh, so I had some rust-oleum that I used for hers because that was the color she wanted. Uh, normally when I paint I'll use Krylon and uh, the reason I had to use the rust-oleum uh, you know, like I said is, is because it was the color that she wanted and I couldn't find it in a Krylon and I'll show you right here what I got is this shit 2x ultra cover french lilac is what this cup color is now like i said normally i'll use krylon because well it really spreads easy it uh it dries fast um it's good paint for using on surfaces like computer cases this shit i am not going to use again if i can avoid it uh i hated it <laughs> it just it it's it splatters it doesn't spread very well i mean i got a little bit of a fuck up right there and then i'll have to scrape that i suppose and repaint that but that's no big deal but it just it, it's hard to work with it takes forever to dry it just i don't know i just can't recommend rust-oleum if you're ever going to paint your computer case just don't use it like i said stick to krylon or some other brand this stuff i mean the only reason i used it on here is like i said i wanted to get rid of it whatever i had i still got a little bit in there because i bought a couple cans and it only took like maybe half a can to do my mom's uh but you know it it turned out all right in the end though you know it took me a while because i had to you know Put a layer on and then wait a couple days and then put another layer on i mean they, they say you can you know spray it and then wait a couple minutes and spray it again well i tried that on a few test samples and and you just get just uh, orange peel you just, just just crap you know i just i'm not happy with it but uh anyways talk about this case here a little bit uh so when I painted this, I was a little worried at first about painting this grill because I was afraid that the color was going to like, you know, be a little thick there and I'd have to like poke holes into it to, you know, so it didn't like clump up. But it actually turned out pretty well, surprisingly. Uh, wasn't too bad. Um, the interior is also purple, as you can see. So it's basically I did the shell purple and then I did the uh, grills purple and then the uh, buttons up there. I painted those purple as well. And then the rest of it's just kind of a white. Now over here on this side, let's turn this a little bit. I also painted the uh, video card a uh, white on the outside and then purple on the fan i thought you know what the hell i'm on a painting frenzy here <laughs> so that's what i did and then the little buttons here that hold down the uh plexiglass also painted purple so that's a got a nice little theme going on there all in all 
Uh, not too bad. You know, I just reused some uh, RGB, some extra spare stuff that I had on there. Uh, Cooler Master water pump and what have you. Uh, this case is actually, it, it's going to get sold. Uh, I had no real use for it. I was just kind of in the mood to build something. And uh, this case was around and I had some parts and I thought, oh, hell, let's see what I can build here you know <laughs> so that's about all there is to this one uh don't know how much i'm gonna sell it for yet i'm thinking 200 250 but i'm a nice guy i don't know i might let it go cheaper than that it's they're they're older parts you know ddr3 memory it's the, the the processor's not too bad though i mean you know 7860k and then the video card is a uh, RX 560. So, I mean, for what it is, and it might be a little bit older generation, it's pretty capable, you know? And then I also got, you know, uh, this little remote control to go with it for the RGB. Gotta have RGB. And that's actually synchronized with the, uh, see the lights in there on the uh, memory? That actually works well with the uh, up here uh, lights that are, excuse me, uh, fans that I got going on. They synchronize with the remote. So that look worked out perfect, you know, for a pretty cheap setup. You know, I had probably like 50 bucks total, probably not even that for the uh, RAM covers, the uh, 120 millimeter fans, you know. And it comes with the remotes. Not bad. Uh, I don't know if there's much more to say about this board. Yeah, there is, I guess. Uh, it's a gigabyte board. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi on it, so that's nice. Cube tower. And this is actually, uh, these these cube towers, it's 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 an all right sized one. I, I, I've seen a lot smaller, like I got a... Uh, a uh, Elite 130, Cooler Master Elite 130, that's uh, a lot uh, smaller. But this one's like, what, 12 inches? And we'll go up. So it's about 14 inches high, give or take. And about, oh, about a, we'll say 10 inches across or so. And then... Oh, would you say about 15 inches deep? So, I mean, you can get that in some pretty decent spaces. I wish it was a little bit smaller, like the Elite 130 was. Um, this Apivia case actually will hold a uh, micro ATX. I think it's advertised as an ITX. But if you look at the inside there where, well, you can't see it from here. I'm just saying... Uh, where everything mounts at, you can get a micro ATX case in here. Uh, if I this is an old one too, and I, I it's been a while since I've worked with it. I think it used to have a hard drive rack down here too, and then I took it out. I don't remember, but uh, it's also got a SSD mount here, hard drive mount there, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, burner mount there. So you know, it's you can get a pretty good amount of stuff in this case but i would really suggest using a uh, modular power supply if you're going to do it because uh yeah you try stuffing all those wires down there you're gonna get a big old mess so we got a modular going on here uh all in all it's it's not a bad build i think uh for the price i'm asking for it it's going to be a pretty good uh computer for somebody uh well, that's it on this one. I'll uh, talk to you guys later, and I will see you in the next build. Bye.